This is 90.3 KEXP and KEXP.org worldwide. We have idols in studio. They have made the album of the year. It is all yours. Go, 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 go
Jesus. <laughs> Idols live here on the morning show. Unbelievable. Great work so far. Thank you very much. I'm good. Can you just play here the rest of the day? <laughs> yes. Joe, do you mind introducing the band when you, when you have a sec here? Let us know who's playing what, where, when. Okay. We have the Irish Adonis, O'Donnelly, <laughs> Bowen. <laughs> He's on guitar. Kiss the guns. More nice. of a dancer. Yeah, yeah. Over here, we've got Lee Keenan. He's a, a wonderful human being. Then you got Dev, Devonshire. He's on bass. Then you got John Beavis, who's our accountant and drummer. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome to KEXP. Thank you so much. To for Seattle. We couldn't be more excited to have you here. And I meant it. This is, uh, you know, it's only October, but it's my album of the year the second I got through it. Thank you. Uh, there's not even, it's not up for debate. Just a great record. Joy is an act of resistance, the name of the album, I'm sure you've been asked, but I would love to hear you talk about the title, just what it means to you. I love that title. Um, thank you. Well, it comes at a time of uh, resilience, um, both personal and obviously social. There's a lot of disillusionment around in your country and ours. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we were looked upon as an angry man band and we wanted to change the narrative a bit as people, individuals, but also as a band, as, a, as an entity. Um, so we just wanted to be more mindful and become better people. Uh, and then within that practice came an album as a reflection on that. Um, I think we are better people and because of that, better artists. Uh, but yeah. 
I saw you uh, quoted. It really struck me when we were first uh, contacted you guys. We saw a quote about being, uh, we are not alone. And that's something yeah. we say on the show all the yeah. time. It just yeah. struck me uh, that I definitely was on the right path listening to your band. And just your vulnerabilities and putting them out there uh, is an act of resistance. And, and as you said, it, it sort of opened the band up, right? And, and, your, and your music. Yeah, I mean, it, it came first from us, you know. I, I had to start being more honest and open with the guys, more importantly, my fiance, um, and just everyone around me to, to learn more about myself and become more confident in listening to other people and improving in that sense. But beyond that, um, there's, there's something quite relieving about the vulnerability of our album. There's something very cynical in, in our society. Um, especially on the internet. Everyone's a critic. It's like, mm -hmm. a, it's like a toilet cubicle. Everyone just writes angry stuff on the walls and leaves. Um, yeah. And we just, we thought, you know, we'll just try it, open up and be more naive with our lyrics, more childlike with our music and just be, um, in essence, what we wish to be as kids, which is, you know, yeah. loving, open <laughs> and fun. Um, and I think the, the most refreshing thing we've had is the response of compassion and, you know, a lot of smiling faces in our audiences and not so much negativity on the internet. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a, it's a strange one for us that we suddenly found ourselves surprised by just how positive people can be. What, what the people closest to the band, your family members, people who friends who've seen you since you first started playing music, have known you before you started playing music. The first time they saw you with this sort of thought, this way of looking at the world, did you see it in them? Did they 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 talk to you about it? What they saw? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, my partner had a big role to play in yeah. me in, in self improvement. You know, the <clears throat> one of the things we are not alone is is one of the key things really is that. Um, to fall backwards, you need to be caught. And that's the point of vulnerability, you know, it's about offering an ear or a shoulder or anything um, to listen and give people a safe place to feel they can be vulnerable. Um, and yeah, I mean, people have been very supportive and I, uh, we are forever grateful with everything we get now because, you know, we're here. Yeah. And. Uh, Everyone built it. It's not just us. It's, it's everyone around us. There, you talk about community, and you talk. I mean, it's you know, I know fans love that when they when they feel like they are a part of of a community, and you don't see it as much with bands for some reason. And uh, you see it in the response. I've seen it in the response. Like people really, they love your music, and they really respond to it. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's one of the most important things for us. Talking to the mic. But. Sorry, it's one of the most important things for us in the kind of the live setting like our live show is nothing without the people there and yeah. it's about communing with the audience and then you can make the live show as hyped as it possibly can be and then if you extend that into your talking to the mic everything that you do I am talking into the mic <laughs> this is how I talk into mics um, if you extend that to everything you do in your practice and every day like you know how you treat people in KXP how you treat people your audience your fans on the internet how you treat people when you meet them after shows it's it's all about that sense of community. Well, that, that your performance so far, I mean, that, I've seen some, you know, um, videos you guys playing. It's amazing. But to see you live, it's honest. Like, that's what I like to see in music is just honesty when you play. And the fact that I think one pair of headphones remained on your heads during those last two songs. Like, <laughs> it's, and it's 9.30 in the morning. I love it. You're we're living not, those We're songs. not used to this. It I is think, a little early. <clears throat> I think I had a, a little slip in the last song. I apologize. Well, we have a slight delay for those reasons. Thank goodness. Let's, uh, let's talk about the touring too. So you've been in the U.S. a few weeks, you said. And how has been touring the record first here in the U.S.? Um, <clears throat> Mind-blowing. Yeah? Uh, yeah, because, you know, people on the other side of the pond in the U.K., um, I think, you know... A lot of our influences, the best bands in the world, come from your country. So we obviously look um, for inspiration and and put certain binaries in music and such to to drive us through. But coming over here seems like a an intangible dream because it's so vast and so far away and so expensive to do. Um, it's yeah. So coming here, we are again just very grateful. And um, 
just keep kicking ourselves and reminding each other how much of a privilege this is to be here. And there's definitely a sense of uh, mirrored disenfranchisement here, disillusionment. Um, obviously, there's um, echoed issues in both countries. Um, so I think now more than ever, people are looking for the creative minds to kind of change narratives a bit and, and open discussions on in the populace, you know? People, so. are, people are looking to the artists and people are looking to the musicians. Do you, yeah. do you feel that's a... F is that... Is, is that kind of weight? Is that sort of pressure okay for an artist? Yeah, I mean, it depends. We, we don't see it as a pressure. Like, we, we've got no responsibility to do anything. We, you know, like, yeah. if I want to write about ice cream, I'll write about <laughs> ice cream. Um, you should. But any, anything's political. You know, I, I don't think we're more valid than any other band that sing about love or going out. Um, you know, it's all political. Um, I think ignoring Brexit and ignoring... Um, Trump is as political <laughs> as singing about it. So I think everything's got its place. Um, but I think for us, you know, we, we just, we find it easiest to discuss what's on our mind um, as an honest exchange. And what that is, is kind of diegetic with where we are and where the people in our audiences are. So it feels more urgent. And, and the exchange we have live is, is, is visceral because people are feeling what we're mm -hmm. feeling. And if you, if you discuss it, it's there, it's present. And, and the energy's, it's magic. It's scary. The sure. outside world is pretty terrifying right now, but it's, it's refreshing to, to be there. We're talking to idols here on the morning show. You know, one more question I have too is something we, another thing we say a lot, and you, you've touched on it a little bit, but, uh, but we talk about what music means to people. What, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, for our listeners, for our staff, it's oxygen, right? So, yeah. so what does music mean to you? Why does it matter? Um, I think it's one of the most, the most humane, visceral art form for me personally. I think it's a universal primal thing that you don't really need to denaturalize. It's just within you, you feel things when you listen to certain songs. It could be Barbara Streisand or it could be, you know, Swans, whatever it is. Um, and that, that is a vehicle for exchange for, for, for passion, compassion, human exchange that, that will never die unless we are obliterated. Um, and it's just great. It's just the one thing that we all have that we can connect with. Um, beyond that, I, I don't want to know any more than that. I just want to, I just want to be in it forever. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that's it. Bone, do you have any more words? Dev, you never speak. <laughs> I think you summed it up quite succinctly, right. Joe. Do you know what? That's the first time I've heard his voice <laughs> in three years. Well, in three years. He's just been staring at me at the back of the van. Well, I'm glad it could happen today, just looking at you. <laughs> well, sometimes Cakesby brings out the best and the worst, so. Uh, Absolutely. All right, the album again, Joy is an Act of Resistance. Cannot recommend it enough. Uh, and we have some songs coming up that remember your performing in the U.S. on the radio. And, uh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> just do your yes. best to remember that. Sorry, my, my headphones were slipping yeah, and then my yeah. mind slipped. <laughs> and then, you know, I did what I said I'd never do. Do your best. Do your best. Go with God. You'll be fine. All right, it's Idols. You ready? <sighs> Live here on Gigs. Round two. Ding, ding. That's the cue, John. We're playing television, my man. <laughs> Live. Yeah! 
It's KEXP Idols live here on the morning show. Television from Joy is an act of resistance. Again, uh, need to mention the shows. You head up to Vancouver. You heading out right away? Uh, yes, we are, yeah. Up to Vancouver. Then we're right past us again, down to Portland, Doug Fur on Friday. Then you return Saturday, Sunset Tavern. Uh, looks like in San Francisco. Then what? After San Francisco, more shows, uh, more? Uh, yeah. LA. Yep, yeah. And then... Um, Desert Days. Just going on, touring through what right now? Do you have a schedule? Um, well, after that, we go back to the UK. We do yep. a UK and Europe run. Yep. Um, which goes until December 8th. 14th. And it feels like just the more and more, I just see more and more attention, more and more people getting psyched about the record over there in Europe yeah. as well. So you get to come back, the, the you know, conquering America, then... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're not arrogant like that. No, we, um, no. You just come in same as it ever was. Yeah, I think that like one of the one of the reasons why um, it's been a real fruitful journey for us is that we treat every audience with the same respect, same you know, yeah. every sound man or woman, every person that comes and helps us out build this ship. Um, we treat them with the same respect and have no expectations. So. You know, every show, we just give it everything we have. Hence why I'm sweating <laughs> like a pig right now. 10 a.m. in Seattle. Um, but yeah, so when we go back, it'll be business as usual. All Very right. grateful and happy to be here. Well, hold on to that. Mm -hmm. uh, Danny Nadelko is the next song. And, and this is a per this is someone you know? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he's, um, he's a very good friend of mine. He sings in a band called Heavy Lungs, okay. who are amazing. Heavy Lungs? Heavy Lungs, okay. yeah. Um, and yeah, we promised we'd write a song for each other. Yeah. Because, um, uh, you know, we love each other very much. And he's a Ukrainian-born British citizen. And I thought he'd be a great example of the human individual behind the debate around immigration in our country and yours. Um, and just remind people of the individual behind all those discussions of the massive immigration that they always talk about and mm -hmm. again just kind of strip it down to the naive essence of what it is i believe in which is humane compassion all right idols you ready i i think so it's all you
Oh, goodness me. I was like, there's this moment where I was like, oh, you can't spell out swear words either. What do I do? <laughs> just look around. <laughs> Help. I kind of want to just leave you there. Uh, I'm nice a work. terrible, terrible man. No, no. Idols live here on the morning show. I, I, I sit in this room for a lot of bands. This is one of the better performances I've ever seen. That Thank you so you, much. You guys are great. And uh, I wish you nothing but luck on the tour. And uh, I love the record. Joy is an act of resistance. Cannot say enough about it, clearly. And we'll keep playing it, no doubt. And uh, thanks for taking the time today. Thank you very much for your support. Yeah, we'll see thank you on you. Saturday, sunset. Big thank you to everybody who supports this independent station. Without you, these in-studio sessions don't happen. And all the people who showed up behind you, back there clapping. You can't hear them, but they're clapping very loud. Uh, and a thanks to our crew, as always, Idols Live here on The Morning Show. This is KEXP Seattle. Bye. Discover great music at kexp.org.